Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services, best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates when to use organizational safe and block lists versus when to use custom spam rules within the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. Organizational safe lists allows you to configure a collection of envelope criteria that classifies a message as not spam by assigning a spam score of zero. Organizational block lists are the opposite of organizational safe lists. An organizational block list is a collection of the same envelope criteria that classifies the message as definitely spam with an assigned spam score of 100. Organizational safe and block lists work well when you have policies that need to be applied across your entire organization, but they lack flexibility if you need to make exceptions to your global spam handling. For example, one of the limitations of organizational lists is that your filter types are limited to a very small set of envelope criteria. Safe lists can be accessed by selecting the Email Protection tab, Spam Detection Module, and Organizational Safe List. Click the Add button and then the Filter Type drop-down. Notice that on the Filter Type drop-down, there are only six options to choose from. Message Header, From, Address Only. Sender Email Address, Recipient Email Address, Sender Hello Domain Name, Sender Host Name, and Sender IP Address. For our example, we can add Proofpoint.com to the Organizational Safe List by selecting the Sender Host Name, Equals, and Proofpoint.com for the value. Next, click on the Add Entry button. On the Safe List page, you can see that we've added sender hostname equals proofpoint.com to the organizational safe list. Compared to organizational safe lists, custom spam rules offer more flexibility in how a message is handled. Custom spam rules are really just email firewall rules in disguise. A common scenario where a custom spam rule is used instead of an organizational safe list is when a vendor sends mail on your behalf. For example, you would not want to add MailChimp.com to your organizational safe list as this third-party vendor also sends mail on behalf of thousands of different companies. To allow only your company's marketing messages, begin by selecting the Email Protection tab, Spam Detection Module, and Custom Rules. Next, click on the Add Rule button. In this example, we want to receive our company's marketing messages sent by MailChimp.com. Knowing the from address that will be used, we can create a custom spam rule to prevent messages from being caught as spam. Begin by populating the ID and description fields with MailChimp and then MailChimp.com. Next, click on the Add Condition button. Within the Condition dropdown, we now have access to all the conditions that are available for an email firewall rule. We can continue by selecting Sender Hostname in the Condition drop-down menu, as well as Ends With for the operator. For the Value field, enter .mailchimp.com. Be sure to include the dot at the beginning as it acts as a wildcard. Afterwards, click the Add and New condition. When the window refreshes, it will show that the initial condition was added. To add even more conditions, select the radio button for And Condition. For Condition, select Message Headers. For Headers, select From Addressee Only and Equals for the operator. For the value field, enter marketing at company.com. Click the Add Condition button at the bottom right corner of the window to save the new conditions. On the Rule page, we can now see the conditions that were just added. 
Remember that with organizational safe and block lists, messages are marked as definitely spam or definitely not spam. On the other hand, custom spam rules have access to more options on how to handle messages by modifying the scores for individual spam classifiers, such as adult, bulk, malware, fish, and suspect. Scroll to the bottom of the custom spam rule page within the disposition section and click on the action dropdown. We can see that there are more options than spam or not spam. In our example, we do not want the messages sent by MailChimp to be caught as bulk mail, so we'll set the bulk classifier score to zero. Next, click on the Add Rule button to save your selections. With the rule enabled, PPS will allow messages from MailChimp that have the from address of marketing at company.com, but will mark all other messages sent by MailChimp as spam. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on organizational safe and block lists as well as custom spam rules within the Proofpoint Protection Server or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.